Hello and welcome once again to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is very much appreciated. And as you can probably tell from this video, we are once again taking a look at the retro 3 and 3 quarter inch figures from Marvel Legends. I'm just going to rip them open and let them breathe like Steve Evans says to. In this video we are taking a look at Thing. Now, this is quite an important one because it rounds out the Fantastic Four. We've had Reed Richards, uh, Sue Storm, we've had... Um, the Human Torch and now of course we've got the Thing as well. Now as a figure they're pretty basic, they've got five points of articulation in the legs, in the arms and in the head but they're really cool, they're really nostalgic and the detail levels of these guys are fantastic. Now this is one of four figures that made up Wave 6 along with Green Goblin, Black Widow and Thor. We also got Thing and that were the, they were the four figures in Wave 6. Pleased to say that I now have the complete Wave 6 and we've got Wave 7 out and we've just seen Wave 8 as well. So let's bring out Hulk right back from the beginning. It's really nice. What's really cool about this is that the scale is pretty accurate. Hulk was always a little bit taller than the thing in the comic books and they've really got the scale correct with these 3 and 3 quarter inch figures. Now these aren't going to be for everybody. They are going to be aimed much more at the retro collector um, or at maybe the younger audience as well because they're much more playable figures than some of the more articulated 6 inch Marvel Legends figures but there is something very nostalgic about these for me and I really do enjoy having them on the shelf having them all in one on one shelf in one collection really do look cool and it's really nice to just sort of round teams out really quickly so here he is with the rest of the Fantastic Four and as you can see they look really nice together they all scale very well together the colours all match they're all in the same outfits and there's just something very cool about it there's just you know that's that's really all you can say about these figures there's something very nostalgic about them and something very cool. Now the retail price on these do vary depending on where you're going to buy them from and if you ask me I think they may be a little bit higher for the actual figure, the actual product that you're getting but when you compare them to some of the other figures out there they're, you know, they're not too bad and if they're all you collect then happy days they're not that much money either. Now originally the retro 3 and 3 quarter inch way, uh, line was not a line that appealed to me but once I had my hands on a few of them they were a lot better in hand and I think the promotional pictures show them off to be. Now you have two types of collector, you obviously have inbox collectors and you have outbox collectors and these are definitely one that suits both uh, types of collector. In the box they look absolutely fantastic, the artwork on the card is really good, cannot fault it at all but then out of the box putting them in a little ensemble they do look really cool as well. Now I do like to take photos of my figures, I like to kind of pose them and, and use them in action figure photography and I must admit these are a lot harder to take photos of just because of the lack of articulation. You can't get them into quite as many realistic poses but they do photograph really nice because as I said earlier the detail on these even though they are smaller are really good. Now I think my favourite out of the four, out of the Fantastic Four is definitely the Human Torch. There's just some extra little detail levels there with the flames and the transparent body and stuff but thing is very cool. And one thing I must say for this retro 3 and 3 quarter inch line is there is a lot of reuse. There is obviously a lot of reuse in various different figures, but there is a huge amount of new sculpt. There are very few things that you can pick out that you know are the same on both figures. So maybe Cyclops and US Agent, like the boots are the same. Uh, some of the females, the, the legs are the same and stuff, but there is a huge amount of new sculpts that go into each figure. So they really do look like a handful of different characters, a handful of different figures. What I would say to any collector that hasn't got their hands on any of the 3 and 3 quarter inch line, pick some up. Um, go and get one because they have a huge variety of characters from, as you can see, Fantastic Four, X-Men, Spider-Man, uh, Avengers, all sorts of different things. They've even got a oversized Sentinel as well to go with the X-Men. But go and pick one up, have a look in your local comic book store or your online retailer pick one up, get your favourite character and make your own mind up. I am definitely sold on them. So let me just show you some of the pictures that I took. As I said, I like to take pictures of my figures and here is the Fantastic Four in a really basic setup. But I just think they photograph really nicely as well. You can't get them into sort of as many action poses, but they really do look good in a photograph and they look just as good on the shelf. Thank you very much for watching, listening to me ramble on about the three and three quarter inch thing. But yes, I'm definitely a fan of this line. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things, all support to the channel is very much appreciated. And do check out my channel for a few more reviews here and there. 
um, and some various different videos on different topics and all that kind of stuff uh, all support to the channel is obviously hugely appreciated thank you very much for watching I'm Jacob aka Jacob's Toys and I guess I'll see you very soon